Well, exactly one year from now, Michigan residents will need to present a real ID compliant document to fly within the United States and enter certain federal facilities under federal law. So how do you get one? What does this all mean? Our Hank Winchester joins us now live at Metro Airport. Help me, Hank. Yeah, Rhonda, a lot of confusion about this, which is exactly why the Secretary of State was here at Metro. Your license, it's going to look the same. The difference, here's mine. You can see that little gold star. That is the key. So what is Real ID and why do you need to be aware of what's going on? Take a look. Real ID, as we mentioned, goes into effect October 1st, 2020. So next year, the goal is to improve security. So that means uh, TSA has been working with the federal government and also with secretary of states around the country to unroll this plan. What you have to do is you have to visit a secretary of state office in your community. You can make an appointment online. You need to bring your current driver's license and either a current passport or a copy of your original birth certificate. Then you can begin this process. As I mentioned, Secretary of State here at Metro today to talk about why, why real ID is so important, here's what she had to say. So that's why we expanded appointments to every office so that everyone has an opportunity to make an appointment and then skip the line entirely. So that's what we're encouraging people to do and to plan ahead in doing so. There is no additional charge to get the real ID stamp on your driver's license. And here's the thing. If you don't ever plan on flying or visiting a government building, your regular old driver's license is going to work for you moving forward if you are just driving. But again, starting October 2020, if you plan on taking off from Metro or any other airport across the country, you will need this enhanced version of your driver's license. If you don't have it, you need to make sure you have a valid passport. We're going to have much more information about these changes and I'll put everything for you on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. So if Wanda you're traveling Bucky, with a passport, you don't need it. Correct. If you have ah. a valid passport, you are fine. Mm -hmm. But if you do not have that, you need to make the change with your license. And Secretary of State says, you know what, if you, if you have to update your license anyway, just because it's your birthday or renewal, right. you might as well just do it to make do it Do it while easy. you're there. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the update, Hank.